Friday. Well, Cinco de Mayo is uh, an event that took place in Mexico in 1862 when the French Empire was trying to recolonize the continent. So the government that defended against uh, the Empire of France was also uh, helping the Union during that time because the French Empire was supporting the Confederacy. So it's a very symbolic event, I think, for the idea that people need to determine their own future, their own destiny, to try to make things better themselves and not have others come and tell them what to do. So in East Palo Alto, I think we've continued that tradition in the Latino community, but for everybody, that uh, this is a day to celebrate our culture, everybody's culture, join in, and uh, remain free and trying to keep things uh, on the up and up for the community. It's a very family-oriented event and uh, lots of food and games and music. I think that our uh, Cinco de Mayo is now 27 years old and I think together with Juneteenth it definitely represents the spirit of East Palo Alto along with other groups. Cinco de Mayo festival. I've been part of this festival since I was a young child and I've been on the committee for this event for the past maybe five or so years as the volunteer coordinator. So I'm the one who goes and recruits volunteers. So it's really fun um, and this is a great turnout. Every year it grows and grows. So I think we've had about uh, 2,000 people that come you know, at some time during the day between 12 and 6. So, and the parade was beautiful today. I actually had not been a part of the parade for a few years, so I got a chance to ride the parade this year.